But of course, they should leave the mural and explain the mural to the children. I mean, why try to hide the reality of our history, which is a terrible one? You know, I mean, you really, if you want to really educate people, leave the stuff and then teach them what it means. You know, I mean, I, I think that this, this feeling that everybody is now so tenderhearted that they can't bear to know their history is ridiculous. You know, I mean, I, I've been able to encounter my own, both the Native American and the African and the European, and it didn't kill me. You know, it made me look at them and understand what happened, some of what happened. So I think it's, it's, it's just very uh, ignorant and backward to think that you can erase history, erase reality by destroying art. How are you going to do that? I mean, if it really is art and not just, you know, some scrawling. Well, A, I bet there are about three Native Americans in the whole school. My daughter went to that school. There were no Native Americans there. Now, who else are they thinking will be complaining? African Americans? Teach them what it means. Teach them that it's... Do you know that on his deathbed, George Washington was still trying to capture a runaway slave woman? On his deathbed. And then after he died, Martha continued trying to catch this woman. That's the reality. That's who these people were. That's our history. Get, get with it. I mean, you know, look at it. And, and, you know, if you cover things up, the danger is that you will end up in the same place again, and you won't even recognize it. Absolutely. And, you know, here's such a perfect opportunity to teach history. Oh, my goodness, Howard Zinn would just have a ball, you know, and I would be right there with him, and we would be saying, yeah, look at this. This is what this means. And think about the artists who did this work during the WPA, you know, when actually artists could do such things. I mean, how amazing. There's just so much there, it's so rich. And I have, I have the feeling that young people, if you don't scare them to death, you know, by denying reality, you know, they, they're hardy. I mean, they can learn and, and not be, you know, daunted. I mean, they may be temporarily daunted because who isn't, the history is so terrible. I mean, but, but you have to face it. This is, this is the country. How are you gonna change it if you don't face it? I rest my case. <laughs> They may have cut back uh, programs for art and teachers and, and they don't know how to do signage anyhow. But signage, in fact, for all these murals, all these awful things, you know, have someone write the, the actual history of what is going on so that the students, when they look at it, have some context for what they're seeing. In fact, I, I'm in favor of them taking all those war memorials in the South where I'm from and putting them all, guess, gathering all of them up and putting them on a battlefield somewhere that's also a park, and writing uh, on the stone, I want it in stone so that it will last forever and that people can actually see, I want them to write the history of the Civil War so that people actually understand why, you know, we have all this anguish, I mean, literal anguish over hundreds of years in my part of the world. So it's forever. Yes. But people need to, the students, I mean, I have so much faith in the, in the brilliance and the, in the heart of the young. I mean, I, I was young myself, and I'm still, you know, aware that I needed to know the reality, not the fable, in order to grow as a full human being, you know? And your daughter went to Washington. Was she traumatized by those murals? My daughter went to Washington High, and she was not. I mean, I am her mother, and she said at some point, probably, I don't remember this, but she probably said, well, you know, there's this mural, and there are these, well, on, on the other hand, I taught her already about Native Americans and the history of this country and how they were brutalized and often defeated, and, and Africans were enslaved. And so, so teach your children so that when they encounter something that may upset them, they won't be ignorant. They'll say, oh, that's what that is. And just for him to have done that is pretty amazing because that's counter narrative to the stereotype of Washington in the history of the United States. No, no, no I'm, I'm all in favor of him as an artist. I'm always in favor of the artist. The artist is the one who sees forever. You know, the artist is the one who, who, who makes it possible for us to have any understanding of reality, you know. Um, God has blessed him. And to hold against him the fact that he was a communist is, is really just, 
You know, there are hardly any words, really. An artist is an artist. And if he is trying to show us something that is real, something that is heartful and that's soulful and is going to help us, you know, what a gift. Peace, peace, and welcome. We're glad you're here. This is the regular meeting of the Board of Education of the San Francisco Unified School District. Tonight is June 25th, 2019. I'd like to start this meeting on honor of Alice Walker, who said the most common way people give up their power is by thinking they don't have any. <laughs>